Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Richardson versus Robbins. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Mr. Richardson, yes. you claim you made a huge mistake. I mean, you signed the birth certificate of the defendant's two-month-old son, DeMarlin, even though you doubt you are his father. You want to prove your case before you end up paying child support for a baby you know isn't yours. Ms. Robbins, you say the plaintiff's only mistake is denying your son because you claim the DNA will prove that he is DeMarlin's father. Is that correct? That is correct. Mr. Richardson, why'd you sign the birth certificate if you doubted paternity? I just... It was at the moment, and I felt that... I don't know. It may be mine, but I don't know. He was there during the whole entire time, during delivery and birth... or pregnancy. He was there, but he also signed the birth... Uh, signed the recognition of parentage. And did you try to twice. guilt him into it? Did you guys have a nope. conversation? Did he express to you any reservation that nope. he really didn't want to sign this birth nope. certificate? I asked him twice. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, why did you ask him twice if because, you know it's his child? Because we... During the whole... Pre during my entire pregnancy, it was... He had doubts. And I asked him before, we do this recognition of heritage, do you sh are you sure you want to sign this? Yeah, no. I didn't want to seem like the bad guy at the time. And I... It was in... I was in my emotions. And when I saw the baby, I was like, ah. And I asked her. I said, you sure this baby is mine? Is there no one else? And she was like... She was like... No, there's no one else. But does that... But he was so... When I saw the baby, he was so white. He was so... He looked like a Mexican or something. Uh, he was just real light. A Mexican? Light. I'm light -skinned. Come on, yeah, now. Light -skinned. I'm light-skinned. Yes, you are. You're very light-skinned. But listen, but... listen, listen. That doesn't matter. Children come in all shapes and sizes, and he just had spent nine months or more in the womb. That's true. But... Yana, you gotta realize, when I was dating her, she was very sneaky. Just so are you. <laughs> so are you. How, Mr. Richardson? She was sneaky from the start when I met her, Yana. I met her at a club, came, approached her, didn't think she was gonna give me the time of day or nothing. So he but pursued me. I did. Yep. You're, you're right about that. I yep. did pursue you. I For a long I, time. I pursued after I got out there. Yep. And we got to talking, and then she told me, she said, I'm married, but... <laughs> and when she said the word but, that means... I'm willing to maybe see you or something. I'll play around with you. Okay. So... So, did Mr. Richardson start off as a side piece, Miss Robbins? Of course I were. Yes. So, that's true? Yes. Very true. But when we got into being more into a serious relationship and I knew that I wanted to be with him, I decided that I wanted, you know, that I wanted it to be just me and him. And I did tell him and I showed him proof that I was divorced. Yeah. And I hadn't been with no one else except for him. So I don't oh, understand that. the whole DNA part. Especially if it was just me and him for the well, last you know, the three last years. We, I was... That was at first. No, and but you know when that. you showed me that paper, it was on the internet. I looked it and up. And he said I, that anybody can be on the internet. Can but I showed him the I, declaration. So I he... He just doesn't believe anything, including, mm. including that DeMarlin is his. No, I don't. So you had to go on the internet to show him your divorce Well, I, what I did is that I pulled it from our exactly. county. You didn't have a physical copy. I didn't have a physical copy, but mm. I know that you can get it on... You can get it off of the... You didn't have a physical copy of your own divorce decree? Mm. No, I didn't. So, so Miss Robbins, your assertion today is that you have no doubt Mr. Richardson is DeMarlin's biological father. No doubt. And I know that, like, the night we conceived, it was just... It was me and him. Yeah, and that's and another story he, behind I, that. I remember a lot. Conception. He doesn't even remember, like, I remember people's that names. Night. Oh, his I'm middle name. I am. He don't I'm remember horrible nothing. Horrible names. I'm he doesn't names. remember anything. I call my so, sister, how are you going to say that you remember the name. night that we conceived when you I can't remember even remember that what night the night because Well, do you remember the night? Mars, huh? Do you remember the I night? I remember the night. Okay, tell the court what happened. So, the night we, um, it was during Christmas, and we had just bought a couch, and I just moved into my place. And <laughs> within that week time, like, me and Mr. Richardson basically gave our house a blessing, or my <laughs> house a blessing. <laughs> a blessing that I didn't finish. Okay, but yeah. that's not no one's fault but your own. Okay. That's not no one's fault but it your own. Look fault. at your age. How old are you? I'm, I'm, at the time, I think I was 43. Okay, so that could be the reason. So, Mr. Richardson, you said, um, you did not finish delivering the blessing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I did not finish that day. The act 
the whole act. So That's not it, the first time, though. And no. Way. So, Miss Robbins, take me to the point in time when you found out you were pregnant. I wasn't feeling good, so I decided to go get a pregnancy test, and it was positive. I also got another pregnancy test because Mr. Richardson, he's so doubtful on a lot of things. We took the pregnancy test together in the bathroom, sat it on the, the, uh, the counter, and we watched it. She asked me, what, what do you want to do? I said, we're going to have the baby because we're doing, two, we're doing some stupid stuff. I'm not going to blame this child. We're going to have it. So you decided to, that we should have the baby? I pretended I was happy. I just pretended Oh, you were like pretending? I, I pretended like I was okay. happy. You were pretending like oh, you were okay. happy? That's, that's, that's like nice. Happy, that's nice. Why would you pretend you were happy? Uh, and still yeah, be with me. She's, and still be with me the whole she was time. Sneaky, but I, I mean, like, I don't get it. I mean, because you was... It, cause... Because of what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Pregnant sex. Okay. Pregnant but you sex. didn't get that. And you know why. You got it one time. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Hold on, Mr. Richardson. Are you saying... You weren't happy about the baby coming. You were happy because you could have pregnant sex? Yes. Well, I mean, pregnant sex is the best sex, Yana. Wow. It is. Whoa. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. So, Mr. Richardson, please, Tell me if there's any other reason you have doubt. Oh, my God, there's a million, but I'm gonna try to narrow down at least one or two. I went to one doctor's appointment with her, right? And then I went to go to the other ones. She told me, no, you don't have to come. I don't I need said, you to Why? hold my hand. I don't need you to hold my hand. You're you. telling me... That's, what? That's uh, what made he's you... not mine. This is not my baby. All this do the exactly. whole time. So why because... would I let you be a part of that? And so the fact that she admittedly didn't want you at the appointment what? made you feel like... Well, if I'm the biological father, no matter how we're fighting or I'm getting on your nerves, why would you not want me at the, at the doctor's, doctor's appointment? Yes, yes. Well... And, um, Yana, you gotta realize... Tell the truth. Christmas time. Uh, she just moved into our new place. 20, she had to put down 2800 She was complaining to me that, you know, I have no... This is like three days before Christmas. I have no Christmas money to But buy I didn't kids. ask you for any money at that time Let either, did I? Let me speak. She come up with all this money after she put this down payment on her to move in her place. And I said, where you get this money from? She told me, I got it from my 401k. I said, that fast? Well, Your Honor, I, I have like, been... Your Honor, I have been on my job as what they call a Christmas account. But why were you crying And so you I no told money? him that... I told him that I didn't have any money at the time. But if I can't get it, if I can't get it from other resources, then I would, do, I would use the money other out resources. of... Part of the Christmas account. So wait a minute. You, you felt like how... Three days before Christmas, you say you don't have any money, and all of a sudden, you have a 401k. I had a 401k from jump. So why are you surprised that she was able to take a loan or something from that? That fast, three days before... I think it was... And that was another guy that was kind of hanging around. Oh, you got that. We're gonna keep his name anonymous, but there was someone kind of hanging around. Did you have any reason to believe that Miss Robbins was intimate with this other man? I you saw hanging with, around? I'm not gonna say him, but I believe she's intimate with someone. During the time that we were... Why? Together. Because, let me, this one particular time I was at her house mm -hmm. and I'm watching TV shows. She claimed she was at work. She came home, Yana. She sat next to me. And I'm like, what's going on? Oh, I'm like, I, I recognize that smell. I haven't, haven't had it in a while, but I what? recognize it. I said, you smell like sex. Oh, wow. And I was so like, that's what I smell like when I... So I, so I... So I... I, uh, I, I said, you been having sex? You know, you at work? work? I don't know I'm, what you're I'm, at work. I'm doing that, that but I'm at work all work. day, but that's how I come home smelling, yeah, really. Yeah, you tell me you've been but at we're work. we're not going to say how you smell when you come home from work. Well, <laughs> well... So is this the first time you've tried to get a DNA test, Mr. Richardson? No, it's not, Yana. She made an appointment. We supposed to split 135. It was two-something to go get a DNA test. She said, I set an appointment. I'm gonna come, come at 4.30 when you get off work. I got there But I made the appointment. Yes, you made the appointment. The, but you said it was 4.30. I got at your house at 3 o'clock. 3.30, calm. We sitting around. Okay, appointment's at 
Four o'clock, huh? We sitting around. Four fifteen, we sitting around. I'm but like, I'm what's up? I'm the one up? who made the Are we going to get this? I'm the one who made the appointment. I'm the I one who agreed her. on DNA, even though and that's I asked all you talked about. But did you go to the appointment? No, Yana. Why? If he was at your house at three o'clock, you know, I just at that time that I didn't do it. I wasn't uh, worried about anything. It's just that I had other things that I had in plan. What were you doing? You were just sitting in the house. Other plans to do. I was on maternity leave. Hold on. You had a chance to exactly resolve this. Correct. And he was there to pick you up to take you there. That is correct. You all had the appointment. That is correct. When you decide you don't want to go, in his mind, I can see why he would feel like you dodge in this test. Exactly. And I and I agree with that. My thing is, he I'm not I'm not worried about anything. But Mr. Richardson, you believe she's dodging this test. At that I, point now, that you've point. been over there for an hour and 15 care. minutes and she's still not ready to go. She's not ready to go. We no, still I wasn't. in our house. I'm nope, like, I wasn't ready to go, but and then she at said, the same I'll make time I was I had... She said I'll make another appointment. I said, "Okay, so I'll come out and say when you you have made that appointment." This was during the this was during the time that I was just... I had just had DeMarlin. And you I was not feeling well. Everybody, everybody and like I told to him, I was willing to do it. Yeah, I was willing please. to do it without a problem. This, this, is, this is it. You've got this man. He's on the birth certificate. He's been having doubts about you all along. I can see this conversation we're having today. It's not the first time. Probably won't be the last. And he's talking about what you did. You were sneaky. You were this. You were that. Very. And, it, and, and this, 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 is, this is honest, Ms. Robbins. Mm -hmm. Whether he's right or wrong, only the DNA is going to be able to decide that. Thank you, But the point is, is that you know at this point in time, he feels like what you say has no credibility. Because when you met him, you not married. Then you was married. Then you got to get your divorce decree online. You don't have a physical copy of it. I mean, the stories just keep coming and coming and coming. And in this moment in time, you have the opportunity to resolve all of this and shut him uh. up. Mm. Really? Put a zip on And my... Lord knows. Oh, my. <laughs> we need that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just don't understand. Well, I didn't... With, well, no, I... I'm, I'm... Let me finish. I just... I don't understand. I know what it means to have a baby. I, I get it. I don't understand why after you make that appointment and he's there, ready, willing, and able to go to this appointment, do you not get yourself and your baby packed up and just get it done. As much as Mr. Richardson talks, the truth is, is I see how he could be doubtful, and now I'm trying to figure out why are you resentful of the doubt that you placed in his mind? Hmm. That looks like you dodging the test. But I'm not, though. We got the appointment. But I... I and I'm here I, to we pick you up. It. We were going we to gonna reschedule, reschedule it. it now. Why? We rescheduled it because I told him that we could do it at a later... I told him that was I was... Was it because was he was already... No, no, listen. Resources. Was it already... Was it because he was already on the birth certificate and you felt like, you know what, you the legal father anyway, so I really don't have mm. to get up out of my no, bed? No, I really didn't care about that. Mm. So what it is, is you all both in here playing games and being silly while DeMarlin is still on pause... True. ...waiting to figure out who my daddy is. And that's unfair. You all talking in circles in here today. He's sitting up here two months old and his potential father is denying him. His mother can't make it to the DNA test. And now you all set up in here for 30 minutes arguing back and forth doing it. He said, she said, when you all have had every opportunity to resolve this. Exactly. But instead, you run your mouth so long that you got to now come to the courtroom to get it done. This is silly. I'm thankful this courtroom exists so that the buck can stop here and we can really yeah. get the results. Result. And I have them. Jerome. Right. Here you go, These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Richardson versus Robbins, when it comes to two-month-old DeMarlin Richardson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Richardson, you 
are the father. You really didn't know? This is what I'm talking about. He doubted it the whole time. Exactly. The whole time. And like that's he, what he this was is, trying to tell you. I can't even believe I'm here. I'm, I can't believe I'm even here. After all these years, I'm, I was but with him. At home. But what I'm saying to you, Miss Robbins, now he knows for sure. Mm -hmm. no and now it. you have been vindicated in the sense that you've said it all along. <clears throat> this is your child. Sign the birth certificate if you want or if you don't want, but this is your child. Are you ready for him to be able to hold his child with the understanding, without a doubt, clarity, that he is this child's father? DeMarla needs his father. That's fine. All right. I will meet you in my chambers. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Now, before I bring your beautiful, innocent little son in here to you, I want you all to promise me that you all are going to work on learning how to co-parent together, learning how to speak to one another more respectfully. He's counting on you all to get it together so he can have the healthy life he deserves. Can you give me your word that you will? For sure. Excellent. Let's bring in this beautiful baby, Jerome Springer. He is gorgeous. Oh, he went to sleep. Hi, oh, baby. What's up, big boy? What's up, big boy? What's up? What's going on?